what's up traders welcome to another live stream from forex trading wizard academy this is forex wizard your trading coach we will be doing live streaming live trading session like every day every weekdays five days in a week and in this live session we'll be analyzing the chart if any trading opportunity coming along the way we'll discuss it and we'll take it with our students if you are watching this stream probably you will be able to copy the same make sure that this is only for educational purpose you can follow along make sure before i begin you smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet so let's begin today's session starting with some hottest pairs including gold and euro dollar gbp usd i know that many of you are trading that and at the same time you can write down your request on the chat section i'll look into it i'll analyze and i can tell my opinion how we can trade it and you can get an idea from there so let's see who is on the chat section i saw that many of you already there khalid thank you pawin thank you pawin uh, rizwan thank you shiba jonathan uh, bestifen jabir personal account many of you already joined and i would suggest you everybody join in this live stream so that you know what's happening and you know how to uh, trade the market so at this point let me quickly go through some of the pairs that we are trading and then i will go through your requ um, request so that um, we can stay in the same page so let me see first of all gold you know gold is doing exactly as it is according to the plan all the time you see that uh, the past four hour candle has closed here and this current candle just tested the previous support as a resistance you see this is what you need to learn previous support testing as a resistance now if you are trading on 15 minutes five minutes that is a nice selling trade probably you have already taken it according to the analysis probably you have made money from it smash the like button if you did it and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel so let me discuss some of the hottest pair that giving us trading opportunity and including aud and zd looks like going to be bullish and we have opened a trade on aud and zd with our vip members so let me explain why i have taken this trade because i have taken this trade i have sent to our vip members probably you can uh, think about it why you are why we are trading and then you can learn from it either it's a losing or winning it doesn't matter trading is all about probability i could be a loser or i could be a winner but when i win i win the big that's what it is so let's see what's happening with aud and zd first of all tomorrow if you go to the forex factory you will find the latest news release tomorrow morning there is an aud news release when there is a aud news release high probability that aud will get stronger now in aud and zd this price section is a bullish price section we have traded along the direction of the trend according to the price section i always tell you the three things you need to keep in mind when you are trading direction of the trend price section area of value always keep in mind these three things if you can master you are the master of forex trading you are a trading wizard let me tell you what it is first of all direction of the trend very simply you can identify what is the direction of the trend in aud and zdc it's a very very long term this is the daily chart it's a very very long term established out uptrending market when uptrend it is likely to go up this is the law of trading what is going up is likely to go up secondly now the price section so we found the trend you see it's, it's a, a clearly defined uptrending market and also the price you know gained some momentum taking some um, you know hitting some stop loss here broke this trend line you see aud and zd broke this trend line broke below and then aggressively went above so it's it's a strongly bullish market and now the price section you see the price section it has created aud and zd a double bottom formation that is the very very important double bottom 
and also if you look at this red candle there is a significance in this daily red candle you see it has created basically a false breakout of this support so the, this support resistance here act as a support and with this red candle it has created basically a false break you see this red candle crossed the previous two candles low completely and closed above and after that what happened you see that this green candle this is the daily the last day of trading which has created this is a nice bullish engulfer this candle cross the see after the false breakout we saw that this bullish engulfer crossed the completely the previous one and also closed above so that all this factor is contributing to the bullish price section and now where do we buy it from is it from an area of value or without area of value if you look at the this level you see the, as i have drawn it you see this is this is a very very important area well, there is resistance here resistance here resistance here support here okay so this is an area of value three things align i have taken the trade and also i sent to my vip members so this is what it is okay we might extend our profit target now this is the technical what is fundamental many of my students ask sometimes do i use fundamental keep in mind as a retail trader we do not have insiders news you don't know what will happen tomorrow before news it is only some secret people knows it who has the insider news they are not retail trader banks or some organization so they have the insider news we don't have insider news so how do we predict the market we use the fundamental with the technical that means that when i see my price section is bullish and news is coming high probability that this trade will go up if it goes up we will make a big money if it goes down we will cut the trade with a minimum loss that is trading smash the like button now let's see what you guys and girls up to richard thank you nishu buzz chiditu jonathan irene good day coach jonathan what about gold it up now and we're going down yes gold that's what i analyzed today alexandra uh beat stephen chiditu grandson hello my mentor i have issues about demo account execute trade in demo account without hesitation and be patient until three days but in real account i take time to execute no patience advice please grandson uh, it's all about um uh, patience okay it's all about patience uh, it, it takes time okay don't force yourself it's it's not for this as advice is not only for grandson for everyone okay so n hello nizam usd cat usd jpo yes we'll do n we'll do everything usd cat usd jpo both are very very important pair now so um perhaps thinks a possible trading opportunity of gold yeah of course we'll we'll do everything okay we'll analyze the chart we'll uh, look at everything as soon as i will find trading opportunity i'll definitely do emma clement boss uh Kakulan Asher okay so we discussed AUD and ZD now let let me quickly go through the the question that Grandon Ganson has raised is that um, he was trading on a demo account and he can wait but when he is trading on the real account he can't keep the patience that's what I always tell you guys and girls is that um, it's all about the meaning that you are putting see when you are trading in a demo account we don't have that emotion we don't have that attachment see there is a term called attachment it's very very important you need to detach from your trade you know so that's what i do it, it, it you need to accept it okay accept yourself very important what i'm telling some people may not be understood and it may not be understandable that what i am selling what do you mean by acceptance what is this because in modern society they don't teach you acceptance means like say we force ourselves to be in a certain way let's say when 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 you 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 are experiencing the emotion in trading let's say the money is going in the minus figure you are resisting it you are saying why am i experiencing this emotion 
So that means that you're forcing yourself don't experience emotion. Okay, because people said that no, no, if you have emotion in trading, you lose money. So you are forcing yourself not to experience emotion, not like that. Experience the emotion. Do not resist it. That is acceptance. Say to yourself, I'm experiencing emotion, but I'm detached from it. That is the key. Experience it. If you do not experience it, you cannot let it go. You need to experience the emotion. Be aware of the emotion, but at the same time, detach from it. What do you mean by detach? Detach means, let's say, when you experience emotion in trading, and then what you are doing, you are taking action according to the emotion. Let's say when you are feeling, when the trade is going wrong, you you lose your mind, you, you feel restless, impatient, and then either opening more trades or closing the winning trades just to take some small profit. That is that you are, you know, experiencing emotion and you are, you are attached with the emotion. Detaching from the emotion is like a kid is crying. Let's say you are looking at the kid and saying, okay, this kid is crying. Maybe he is hungry. Okay, let me give him some food. So you are detached from the kid's emotion, right? You understand that kids is experiencing emotion, but you are looking at it, you are not affected by it. That is the key. And you can achieve through meditation or just give yourself some time, okay? If you don't, can't control your emotion, give yourself some time, just, just be with it, okay? Experience the emotion, detach from it. Similarly, experience detach from your trade okay how do you detach from your trade? let's say this trade i have sent to my vip members and also i have taken the trade right once i have opened the trade trust me um today i will finish the live stream i will do my job and then after the finishing my trading uh, time i'll go to sleep because it's night time in in sydney uh, early morning I, I work all night long and until Tomorrow Asian session, I will not look at it. Either it is hitting my stop loss or going to hit my profit target. I don't look at it because I'm detached from the trade. I know that one trade goes wrong, doesn't matter. I always risk one person only. So it doesn't matter. Okay, from 100K, if one case goes, doesn't matter. Like this. So you have to detach from your trade. Uh, it takes time. Allow yourself. Okay, very important. Now let's see. Chiditu, CHF, JPO, we'll go through all of them. Uh, Power in USD, CNHS, sorry, yeah, USD, CNHS, um, AUD and ZD are giving good, a good uh, trading uh, opportunity. Jonathan, uh, Alan, James, how do you feel when you miss an entry that will fetch you more money because I have missed an entry for sale on GBP, USD? Alan, you always miss entry. I always miss entry. When I miss, I'm, I don't look at it. Okay, you don't know either that would that entry could fetch money or it could take money from your account because trading is a game of probability. You don't know which trade is going to be winner. We don't know which trade is going to be loser. But we use our analysis probability to take the trade. That's it. Um, said so morning, uh, morning mentor. I'll take to get funded twenty four hours. Thank you what shall do no problem thank you for that they will they will uh, give you funded 24 hours just wait for that and they will they will confirm you okay thanks for that if anyone want to get funded uh, go to my description area there is a link you can get 30 percent off your first plan if you want a funded account so let's let's begin our gold gold analysis then okay let's start with gold gold today i have posted an analysis and looks like the price is doing exactly as it is you see the price dropped down now this is the four hour time frame and then went above tested this previous support as a resistance and that's what i told in the analysis this is the previous support tested as a resistance and we see a rejection okay this is the four hour time frame but overall let's look at the new market what's happened this is the daily time frame you see gold is you know dropping and dropping and dropping and what i'm waiting now is to give me more opportunity for trading gold you know so this is the daily time frame weekly 
as expected as soon as the market open we saw that the price you know dropping and we might see um, a bounce from 1778 but gold is fully bearish let me draw a level here so gold should drop at least in the first bounce, first move a 1778 monthly weekly daily all are bearish okay let's go back to the four hour time frame now in this live stream if we find any opportunity definitely see this after 14 minutes this candle is going to close this is hourly candle right so this is actually a trading candle okay this hourly candle could be a trading candle okay because you can see the top of the candle is right uh, crossed and bottom of the candle is now closing as a bearish and golfer okay so it's it's a trading candle it's it's all all about you know um, pushing down so this candle also is a bearish candle so let's find out what you guys and girls are requesting dollar yen okay i have got quite a few requests on dollar yen let's go to dollar yen we'll come back to them over and over again you see dollar yen this is what i told in my weekly forex forecast and the price is doing exactly as it is dollar yen bullish and it is likely to be bullish this is the weekly time frame you see this is the level that i have drawn and the price is moving exactly from there so let's see on the daily now daily you saw that the price came to this 20 period moving average 20 period moving average very very powerful okay you see in in a video that i posted on youtube that one video should be enough for you to be profitable you see what did i say in this 20 period moving average when you see that long for an extended period of time when you see the 20 period moving average is not being respected or not being touched when it will touch there will be a reversal and that is what happened you see dollar yen this is the green candle has created on the first last day of trading week now today as soon as market opened as expected the price came to this area of value again it touched the 20 period moving average this blue blue moving average and then we see a rejection and i think that it will continue to go up because it's a very very strong bullish market so what is the you know what is the backup behind why am i saying dollar yen will go up let me give you a full analysis that's very important for you as if you want to trade dollar yen now look at the monthly you see i think that this whole month including couple of months later dollar yen will push up so if you trade hold the trade for extended period of time to make more money you know so dollar yen look at the previous monthly candle you see there is a weakless candle so what does this candle signifies see this is a very very strongly bullish market and when you see a candle like that in any time frame in this kind of bullish market you can expect couple of candles to go up because it's a monthly time frame we can expect this one to go up so monthly means in the lower time frame there is a lot of trade will be available for us for bullish so dollar yen always bullish okay now this is monthly let's go to the weekly time frame now weekly as i have said in my weekly forex forecast that you see the price is look at the how many weeks straight move to the upside okay now this this weekly candle also is a bullish candle you might say well this is a red candle why should i consider it's a bullish candle the reason is the look at the health of the candles you see there's a long week at the bottom that means the price one came down the buyers bought first thing secondly see the high of the candle it has created a higher high so this one could just go up like that okay so weekly also we have dollar yen highly bullish now go to the daily time frame now daily you saw the price came to this very very important level of support see this is the level of support let me draw it and if you look at the past the same level acted as resistance support now acted as support see this is the strength of the support when you see a support acted both as a resistance and as a support that means same level when there is a supply and demand both that's a huge powerful level and that is what happening dollar yen now pushing up from this zone 
okay from this support and i think that it will just continue to go up okay so i will i will send i still not in a trade because i'm just waiting for a proper entry point i want this to uh, start to you know push up so this is strongly bullish and this level you see the price is respecting this trend line on the four hour time frame okay so that is what it is so dollar yen is bullish and it will continue to be bullish that's what i believe but you as i told you i could be wrong at any point so make sure you do your own analysis and also manage your risk because it's not in any kind of investment advice it's just for educational purpose in the meantime if you haven't smashed the like button don't forget to do that and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel don't miss it to get a great value from this channel and at the same time if you guys and girls interested to learn my strategy and also join my vip team link in the description area you can check it out go to my website there's a live chat area if you have any question ask the team will answer any question so now let's see on the lower time frame if we have any trade on dollar yen you see this is the 15 minutes time frame we'll go at some point 15 minutes if we find nice trading opportunity and i think that dollar yen just started to break up let me see daily okay so what what i think you know dollar yen what it will do basically today it might create a dodgy candle tomorrow from along along this zone it will come again from this zone and from here it will finally will be bullish so for now it's bullish but need to find a proper entry point so now let's see what other pairs we have usd cad okay see usd cad did exactly what it is i told in my weekly forex forecast go to the weekly time frame you see usd cad opened with a gap and that's what i told in the weekly forex forecast that usd cad will either will really straight go up or will really straight go down now you start to go straight up now it will go up but what will happen you know what i think that usd cad will do at some point it will break the weekly low okay at some point today tomorrow sometime it will break the weekly low okay usd cad will come down here and then will go up okay so that's what usd cad could do now let's go to the daily time frame what it is doing now this is what it is you see now what is my bet if usd cad this current candle this this current dodgy candle what you see on the daily if this one closes like that okay i will go bullish on usd cad i will buy straight okay if this one if this is high probability that this daily candle will close something like that okay if this one closes as a dodgy okay i am almost 80 percent sure that usd cad will just will push from here to the upside this is what happened all the time especially with usd cad i like usd cad in some areas because sometimes it creates you see this is the weekly see this kind of dodgy candle and straight start from here so that means on the daily if you go back again this is the level of support on the daily and the same level acted as resistance okay so when you see a candle forming in this you see this is exactly the resistance that i need on usd cad and if i see that usd cad let me draw it again usd cad forming this daily candle on this resistance okay this is the previous support this is the resistance i will straight go buy okay from here keeping stop loss here take profit at least one to five that's what i'll do on usd cad as long as this daily candle closes as a dodgy you need to be patient to to trade usd cad at this point there is no trade what i want is to close this daily candle like a dodgy that means above this level or even coming down and then closing above as a dodgy then i will be buying usd cad i think that usd cad will go up usd chf the same thing bullish okay usd chf usd cad all of them are bullish now go to the usd cnhs you see usd cnhs we have sent a 
pending order to our VIP members, exactly this one, okay? The reason is, let me tell you why. Go to the monthly, USD CNHS has changed its downtrend to the uptrend, okay? It's a strongly bullish now. Now, at least we can expect USD CNHS to come to this level of resistance, okay? High probability that the price will come to this resistance at 6.84535. Uh, the reason is because you see the previous support here on USD CNHS. This is the monthly support. Okay, this is the monthly support here. Now it is it should be testing as a resistance and even should break up because overall USD CNHS has, has created a higher low. You see when the price reversed from here, it basically created a higher low. This is the monthly chart and it should go up at least to this level. There is a big move ahead on USD CNHS. And now let's go to the uh, weekly and daily and see how we can trade. Now weekly, as soon as the market open, this is a healthy bullish market and the price is pushing to the upside. Go to the daily, okay? Now look at the daily, what happened on the daily on USD CNHS. You see, there is a big move happen followed by this red dodgy, you see red dodgy. So when you see, a market is creating series of candles like series of green candle and one in the middle is red that can give you a strong support or resistance guys and girls you want to make money from trading or you want to have some excitement if you want to make money from trading pay attention okay see you can make more money in for trading four hour or daily then you can make money from 15 minutes. I trade also 15 minutes as I told you, sometimes I, I give you signals like that. But when you trade on a little bit higher time frame, you can make more money than what you are making from 15 minutes, five minutes, okay? The reason is the price section is reliable. And when you have a tight stop loss in four hour time frame, I trade, sometimes I get my profit in five minutes. So why not? You see, USD CNHS, now this red candle can give you a very, very strong level of support. Now, this is the daily chart, right? After this red candle, the last day of trading week, today, the price is pushing high and still it has created a higher low. See, this is the low of the daily candle, created a higher low, okay? Now, what's happening today, you see the price now pushing up. Now go to the four hour time frame. Now, why am I have I taken this trade? Look at the, this is the first candle of the trading day, okay, F trading session. This is the first candle of the weekly opening. And when you see a weekly candle on the opening, and also you see there is a rejection zone on the past, okay? And also there is a previous support as a resistance. If you look at the past, what you see, there's a resistance testing as a support there is a 20 period moving average. That's what it is. Area of value. First, trend. What is the trend? Direction of the trend is up. No doubt about it. Secondly, trend and then price action. Price action is, you see, impulse followed by this. You see, this is a consolidation. This is a bull flag. So, price action is bullish. Created a bullish engulfer. Thirdly, what it is area of value this one formed in a very very important previous resistance as a support three things aligns smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet this is what it is about usd cnhs now dollar yen go back to you see this is what's happening dollar yen is bullish and i think that it will continue to be bullish in the meantime let me see what you guys and girls writing euro chf We'll look at it. Please trade love gold today. I will be a, a good opportunity to learn. Yeah, of course, Rabi Good high new week, new opportunities. Absolutely. Uh, Jenison 1976, GBP JPY, please. Okay, so dollar yen and you know GBP JPY similar kind of pattern. Okay, so let's go to the GBP JPY. It's also creating a bullish pattern if you go to the four hour time frame you see uh, the price came back to this level of support you see this is the previous sub uh, resistance with this red candle 
you know tested as a support and we saw that bulls are buying okay so at the end of so we might at some point we might go to the 15 minutes time frame to see if, if we find a new trading opportunity but in the meantime let's analyze the chart to see the direction of the market so gbp jpy if you go to the weekly this is also a bullish market as expected the price tested the previous you see the previous resistance here resistance here as a support and we see this is what this is this is the analysis from my weekly forex forecast that the chart everything is there you see and the price looks like doing the same thing it's going pushing high okay so go to the daily the market open and it's trying to create a bullish candle go to the four hour so it's look like it's bullish okay so that's what it is let's see what you guys and girls are thinking bipan uh, which time frame is more accurate five minutes or 30 minutes to trade okay bipan there is no time frame that is accurate keep in mind time frame all time frame is accurate okay there is no nothing wrong with time frame the only thing is you need to keep in mind that what kind of trader are you okay are you a scalper are you a day trader are you a swing trader are you uh you know uh, whatever trader you are but keep in mind if you are new start with you know like higher time frame that is the thing trading many of you i know that maybe started trading three months or one month you know or maybe you know um couple of days and then you started to trade in five minutes one minutes that is because if you are new always i suggest you start with four hour or daily when you get experience when you have a lot of experience then you can jump onto five minutes 15 minutes you know because trading on the lower time frame is not easy there is a lot of uh, things you need to keep in mind support resistance what is the time frame where the you know uh, candle is what is the daily situation but higher time frame is easy you don't have to you know the the more the lower you will go the more time frame you need to keep in mind the higher you will go the less time frame you need to keep in mind you know let's say you are trading on daily even you don't need to look at any other time frame only daily will give you everything if you are trading on four hour maybe four hour and daily could give you a good edge but if you are trading on the five minutes you need to look at 15 minutes you need to look at hourly chart you need to look at the four hour but if you some of you born like that that's okay if you are born like that you can do that but as i told you it depends on everyone's personality who you are find out who you are okay uh, before finding out who you are if you think that you are losing money just jump on the higher time frame okay that's the best advice i can give you vumaya hi sir vumaya ama sir good morning all to you um jamilary paul euro dollar yeah we'll go to the euro dollar it's very important respond is it still possible to make pending order on AUD and ZD? Uh, AUD and ZD yeah, is still is still there. Okay, still there. Uh, Said Shakib Euro CHF. Yeah, Said will do the Bernard. Uh, Bar Bar and so good day. Sorry, sometimes I couldn't can't ex you know pronounce the name properly because the the name sometimes it's a different language name, so it sometimes becomes difficult um abdullah ali good day sir any opportunity in gold can you buy it or we don't buy gold it's a bearish market um so the thing that i can say is see uh, always keep in mind everything every information given here is for educational purpose uh, not any kind of advice okay keep in mind so now let's go to the euro dollar okay many of you waiting on euro dollar let's see what's happening now euro dollar see this is overall a, you know a big bullish market if you go to the daily time frame euro dollar um, you see this is the daily chart and there has been a big drop and at the same time this is the weekly you see this is the uh, support here it's a historical support if you look at the past you see how many candles on euro dollar rejected from this same level now the price came here okay and we see a rejection but it doesn't mean that this is the weekly chart and euro dollar will just go like that no 
why look at the past you see what happened see how many first this one came here you see with this red one and the, the next one you see next one just just consolidated in this zone on the lower time frame and then the next one did the same consolidated in the next and look at the next one what happened this is weekly also came and broke all this low and consolidated and then slowly price change its strength so how many weeks the price moved in the same zone like look at this one week two week three week four week five weeks just to change the trend okay still didn't do it again came back and then finally change its trend similarly go back to our now recent time frame you see just this week came the price here it doesn't mean that okay came to the support now the price will just go up like that no it will go up and down it will come back here do like that if it wants to change the trend and then slowly it will change trend like that okay so in this back and forth is still it is bearish okay still it is bearish but what I said in my weekly forex work is because it came to the important level of support. In case it might go up, test this 20 period moving average and then could drop. So because it came to the level of support, I'm not going to sell now euro dollar. Okay. When it is kind in support, it will do up and down. So when I'm going to sell, when it will go to another area of value, that is the 20 period moving average. And I think that high probability that euro dollar will go at some point this 20 period moving average or if it doesn't go if it creates a strong bearish pattern here then i will be selling okay it depends on what kind of price section it is creating that is the key okay so in the meantime you guys and girls don't hesitate to write down what you are expecting um what you are trading what kind of uh you know price section okay now GBP and ZD, okay, GBP and ZD, let me tell you something on GBP and ZD. To some, some days you might not find a trade and you have to be patient, okay. You see that most of the pair now showing some kind of reversal pattern, okay. You see dollar yen, everything now showing reversal pattern. When the price started to reverse, just be patient, let it fully reverse, okay, because when it reverses, it goes a lot of up and down to you know to change its trend so that's why be patient now gbp and zd that's why i'm focusing me i'm telling what's happening tomorrow or maybe on the daily you know the, the pairs that is giving trading opportunity i'm telling you one pair i found is aud and zd okay that's what i found a trading opportunity uh, another one could be gbp and zd okay you see every day you need one trade right or maybe less than one enough right whatever trade you are doing daily trading scalping that's what i do even the any time frame you will find daily one trade no doubt about it if you trade based on daily chart you will get minimum one trade per day minimum or more so if you take five trade in a week that's enough isn't it so you don't have to um you know too much pressure on yourself for trading on any time frame or don't be you know don't be impatient okay so gbp and zd what what i'm thinking let me tell you if it looks like that this is the daily chart as i told you in my weekly forex forecast also the gbp and zd is likely to be bullish it looks like the price already created a first move to the upside you see this is the daily chart now what i am expecting that gbp and zd to close as a dodgy here okay so i'm telling you my secret if GBP and ZD closed as a dodgy, something like that. This is the daily chart. Let me tell you what I will do because that time I will not be on a live stream, so you will not know what I'm doing with our VIP members. But in the meantime, if you are on, if you wanna see what I will do in my VIP channel, get the signal, then you can join the link in the description. So if GBP and ZD close like that, I will buy straight away. Okay, this is a high probability signal if gbp and zd does like this something then i will put a tight stop loss as soon as the daily because in the early asian session there is a, a big spread you know swap is high soon as the swap will be normal i will buy with a tight stop loss maybe i will close somewhere here with a 
at least 3 to 5 risk to reward ratio. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet. This is Forex Wizard from Forex Trading Wizard Academy if you need the channel. So Rizva, thank you sir. Nishuvas and ZD AUD. Yeah, and ZD is giving good trading opportunity today. Bipan, thank you sir. Purity, Euro and ZD. We'll look at it. Said Euro, CHF, many times you told. I'll look at it. Al Zaf, good day coach. No problem. Uh, Justin, morning sir. US 100, please. We'll do it. Chadrick, AUD, USD, please. So let's see quickly in this is uh, US 100, US 30. Okay, so let me see first of all weekly okay weekly is bearish monthly bearish weekly bearish daily okay daily okay so what i'm thinking that let me see the area of value for um us 100 let me see on the four hour okay you see it is creating a trend line smooth trend line this could be a nice area of value for us 100 why because you see uh, that there is a support here support here support here resistance here okay now you see just on top of the resistance there is a pin bar guys and girls if you see this then you don't need anything else okay in this very important area of value there is a nice pin bar has been created okay i love this kind of pin bar even one to one trade after this kind of pin bar in an area of value is a good trade. It's almost 98% probability trade. If you see a pin bar like that on top in an important level of resistance. Now at this point, what I think the price will do, what I think, let me tell you, the price will go to this zone again. Okay, around let's say this area, around let me give you a level. Let's say 1242.12429.4 from this zone it will have another rejection. So trading, let's say keeping stop loss here, pending order here, take profit target here, or even one to two mathematical could be a good trade on US 100. Okay, so that's the situation with US 100. Dollar yen obu. We already discussed dollar yen, but if you missed it, you can review or we'll come back again. Make sure you stick till the end of this video, till the till the end of this uh, live streaming, so that uh, you know what's happening. Because we'll go back to all pairs. If I find very good trading opportunity, even I'll go to the lower time frame in 15 minutes or five minutes to to see quick um, quick trade how we can trade. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, what others we have we discussed usd cad we discussed uh, dollar yen so let me let me know in the chat section okay nzd chf and nzd cad let's see okay nzd chf look at this one here so what i think that nzd chf is doing is you see this is the daily 20 period moving average and what i think nzd chf today will come here to this resistance okay this is daily time frame and from here we might see a rejection okay so i was really following nzd chf because it's overall bearish market you see this is overall bearish market and this is the four hour time frame so if today nzd chf come to this zone okay i might go short keeping stop loss above this high or above this high based on what takes to reward i am following and i will target at least to this level so could be one, even if i short from here let's say keeping stop loss here it will be one to two trade it's a good one okay nzd chf so the area of value for nzd chf is this zone this is four hour time frame this is zone okay let me give you a quick uh, multi time frame analysis on nzd chf you see this is the monthly why am i think that nzd chf is a is a high probability shorting opportunity is because this is the monthly right it's it's two weeks gone so the previous months look at this one this is a bearish candle created a lower high now at the same time overall picture on nzd chf is bearish you see this is a very very strongly bearish market nzd chf okay now 
you see this is a um, overall bearish market creating a lower high okay and as soon as this this month's market opens we saw first of all went above tested this zone and again came down but at the same time what we see that the price is pushing down it's an overall bearish market so monthly bearish go to the weekly now weekly you see the price has created a nice and dodgy uh, candle with a lower high and lower low okay so what i think that the price will come along this weekly resistance so this is the weekly opening and closing and from there we should see a drop go to the daily now this is what it is you see and i think that it might even cross this daily height you see this green dodgy on the daily time frame this is where a very very important high area of value if nzdchf managed to come to this zone i will straight sell nzdchf today okay i don't know why it's not doing okay i'll sell nzdchf from here okay keeping a stop loss above this high this is daily and take profit here which could be one to two or more risk to reward ratio so this is what it is with nzd chf nzd cad okay also um, you see the price is going up it's a strongly you see that's what you need to keep in mind when you see a market is trending down the price is going up that is what you need to keep eye every time i tell you something always this strategy i like let me tell you what it is you see when you see a market creating a series of lower high and lower low trending down right if you see that the market unusually moving to the upside uh, with a big candle that is where the big trade comes that's what you will do just wait for a retracement okay and then sell let me show you a couple of examples guys and girls if you want to learn trading you know let me tell you a truth if you don't want to learn trading only rely on signals you will never be able to make money from trading ultimately you lose your money and you'll give up so if your intention is only only to use signals to make money tell you the the, the hard truth the unpleasant truth is that you will not be able to make money you need to either you need to dedicate time to learn trading or you need to give up okay that's the hard truth only from signals you will never make money i only give signals to support my students who are learning so that they can stay motivated okay another thing is see i'll tell you in in five minutes how you can become profitable trader in five minutes time okay three things you need to keep in mind number one trend okay always use the trend to push you number two price section okay price section what is price section use support resistance okay bullish bearish candlestick pattern pin bar number three risk reward okay that's it use one to five if you can that's what i do my minimum risk to reward is one to five use one to five risk to reward then risk manage your risk to one percent or two percent that's it you are done you are profitable for the rest of your life that's what only need you to become a profitable trader if you want to learn more like that go to my description go to the description area of this video go to my website um, if you want to join my program for the rest of your life i have a lifetime access opportunity so i am developing many new strategies everything you will have access so for the rest of your life you will be member of this forex trading wizard academy until i am alive my if I, I die when i will get older my team will run the academy so you will be there forever it's a rare opportunity until the price goes up you can 
join link in the description so let me tell you and so why what did i say let me give you a couple of examples what i said about that when the see look at this one here this is when you see a market trending like this you see trending let me show you trending 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 and suddenly what happened you see the price unusually broke to the upside and that is where you will be selling you see after that what you found a bearish engulfer and then look at this here the same thing happened here you see the same thing happened here market is smooth trend is smooth trend is smooth trend and then unusually broke to the upside and then sell see the old school you know the the nice nice guy nice boys will tell you that okay this is trend channel okay sell from the top of the channel buy from the bottom of the channel i don't do that okay I wait for false breakout like this one to catch the big fish that's what it is let me show you some examples like on euro dollar okay you see this is what it is this is euro dollar four hour look at this the price following this trend line you see smooth trend line suddenly the price broke out of this trend line you see unusually broke out of this trend line created a dodgy sell from here okay if you sell from this dodgy if you sell from this dodgy you can make 10 times or 20 times profit okay now how do you know that where to sell as i told you find find the trend and then see the market unusually breaking to the opposite direction of the trend and then sell okay not blindly wait for a price section confirmation that is the strategy that you use big boys see these candles you see they are basically a representation of the buyers and sellers in the market okay so keep in mind that so in the meantime let me see who is guys and girls are writing on the chats really appreciate that participating in this chat um, Presmo, hello is it what about nzdchf we have already discussed nzdchf you can go back or we'll come back again justin thank you sir no problem trader as expert usd cat please sir it would be wonderful thank you no problem usd cat i love usd cat i'll do it again let's do go back to usd cat i did and i will do again because usd cat really sometimes gives good trading opportunity now usd cat what it is doing is really really good why because you see this is the daily chart why i'm back and forth going back to daily the reason is high probability that this daily candle will close somewhere here as a dodgy okay i think so then until it closes a dodgy i'm not gonna trade but what i will do what i'm telling you if according to my analysis if usd cad manage to close here as a dodgy creating a daily higher low okay then what i will do is i will place a pending order around this zone buy order keeping my stop loss here and i will target at least one to five here okay now why i think that usd cad will go up let me tell you very simple that's what i was teaching so far three things trend trend okay what is trend on usd cat look at this starting from here first of all created a double bottom push up retracement tested the 20 period moving average pushed up retracement now this is the uptrending market push up retracement push up retracement push up see when i see like this i normally try to avoid trading you see why because you see the price didn't test this is the support didn't test the previous resistance there is a gap here but look at the usd cat push up retracement push up retrace. now in this retracement usd cat tested the previous support as a resistance right now what happens see when this daily this daily dodgy will be closing then why usd cat is so powerfully bullish is because see this is the previous support the previous resistance with this red candle okay previous resistance now the price is forming on a level of support that simple right now let me tell you something so we found the trend up trend up three things 
trend up now price section what is the price section support resistance and candlestick pattern look at this previous resistance now support price section okay and then what is this this is a doji right doji means after the breakdown the price couldn't break the low instead creating a doji but though it's still daily candle not close at any point we might see a candle red candle like that but i think that the way the market is forming it will create a doji and will go up so that means that we found resistance we found support we found price action so price action done number two done okay now what is the next thing risk reward so i will target at least one two five on this one with our vip members okay now smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet this is forex wizard from forex trading wizard academy if you're new to the channel that's why i'm just reminding you so that i can program you to become a forex wizard you are also a forex wizard make sure that you believe in yourself and also um, make sure you always manage your risk what plan do you advise for getting funded good day sir um, well uh, samuel it's uh, completely up to you let's see what's your um, you know uh, tolerance there's they have a lot of plan based on how much um, you want to keep in your account but i i would suggest you to stay in a lower plan if you if you still not confident in trading uh, keep a low amount so that if in case there is a drawdown you are you are st still staying in the safe side okay but if you you can choose any plan uh, it's up to you depends on to be honest exactly your personality your you know appetite everything depending on you so let's see see what you can uh, it's up to you so euro chf side so let's see euro chf what's happening with euro chf okay euro chf dodged us okay euro chf looks like now creating a bullish pattern the reason is let me tell you on the monthly so what we are seeing that euro chf um, pushing to the upside this is the monthly resistance and what we see, i think that now euro ch is heading to this um, level of monthly resistance here okay so let me okay it could even be reversed from here all right the the one thing could be that euro chf now is trying to do let me tell you this is the monthly time frame right and in this monthly time frame what we see that euro chfc basically created a kind of head and shoulder and then broke down so when you will see a head and shoulder like that okay and then break down in most cases you will see that the price is going up and testing this previous support as a resistance and then we might see that that uh, the price is dropping now with that being said what i think that euro chf will test this um, previous support here you know on this uh, head and shoulder support here it might test the previous support as a resistance and then we might see a drop so with that being said looks like that go to the weekly has created a dodgy instead of um, bearish pattern it created a doji that means that euro chf um, could go up okay looks like it has it is trying to change its trend but as at this point i don't have any entry let's go to the four hour uh, the price created on the four hour an inverted head and shoulder on euro chf and broke above so the best point i will be you know if i buy on euro chf could be this one this level okay this level could be the best area of value for buying euro chf because you see that this is the previous support here now resistance here and at the same time on the four hour it looks like it has created an inverted head and shoulder okay and when you see an head and shoulder what you can expect the price come back to this previous resistance testing as a support and then creating a bullish pattern okay so if euro chf managed to go there which is likely that it will go up now it it might have a big momentum because 
looks like you see look like it is breaking all this level of resistance and we might see first of all a booming up push up on euro chf at this point euro chf looks like bullish okay so let's see what happening um say it please thank you uh coco gems sir do you uh count conduct class yes uh coco Gen, you can go to my um description go to my website where you can find vip channel link where you will learn my strategies all the educational content are there you can join uh, with a discounted price today it will increase very soon so aud jpy sir yeah aud usd wizard chadrick uh, adam miller can we check gbp usd i will look at it aditya usd near um I have pending order USDG PS for or if yes good one again GBP JPY so USD JPY GBP JPY looks like bullish uh, because JPY again getting weaker JPY long term bearish so other pairs against JPY getting bullish how we predict a currency stronger or weak news news asked a question how we predict a currency stronger or weak uh from the trend that's what i do um how do you predict a currency so news news asked a question how do you predict a stronger currency or weak so normally a currency stronger or weak it's a relative you know let's say uh usd may be weaker against yen or yen may be weaker against usd but maybe stronger against aud right or any other pairs so it's a relative now relative strength normally i measure from the trend the only thing you know from the pattern from the price section from the trend no other way so if you see the let's say what do i mean by this let's say you see that dollar yen okay dollar yen if you look at the monthly you see this is a bullish market right a strongly bullish market so that means that usd against yen is a strong that's what it is right so from the trend the only thing you can learn is from the trend so let's see what else i have to cover in the meantime and zd aud position is on certain no problem a uh, purity euro and zd darren is it is this a false breakout on euro ch of one four hour um darren yes false breakout to the downside okay force breakout to the downside this is a force breakout to the downside it's a completely uh, fake force breakout now we see that euro chf created an inverted head and shoulder and then the pushing to the upside so this is what it is it's now bullish uh darren yeah uh Rizvan, really good looking forward to analysis market like you no problem Rizvan. always i'm i'm sure that you will be able to do that euro cat please will do it uh, SM, I have opened sell entry on gold at 18.07. Yeah, so I think that it's a good trade. Gold is bearish. Let's see what happened. Uh, Parabama, Jim Singh, sir, uh, US 30. Yep, we, we did uh, US 100. We'll look at it. Merry good evening, sir. Thank you for all the tip you share to us trading various pool to build ourselves as a trader. Yeah, absolutely, Mary. You will be able to do that. I'm 100% sure. Gregory talks, sir, please. I have lost a lot of money and I haven't recovered. And I don't know what it is best pair to trade on to get free signals. Okay. Gregory Talker. So let's quickly have a look what Gregory Talker says. Gregory Talker, not only you, Gregory Talker. Me, when I started trading, I lost a lot of money. Okay everybody lost money before become a trader it's okay never chase the loser that is very important never chase a loser instead learn from it learn from the proper risk management then you can become a consistently profitable trader i'm 100 percent sure learn risk management stick to the rules do not allow greed or fear to to take control over you that's it you will become a trader smash the like button thank you entertainment tv 
so we are i'm almost um almost you know finishing one hour so let's see if we have any uh, trading opportunity i i discussed at, at the beginning of the session is aud nzd looks like uh, bullish to me uh, though it is dropping now today tomorrow there will be uh, news release so we we are buying uh, we bought aud nzd and also i'm sharing with what i have sent to my vip members so uh, usd cnhs also i have sent to my vip member uh, a pending order and tomorrow if usd cad does according to my plan i will buy and if gbp nzd does according to my plan see like this one like this dodgy i will be buying gbp nzd smash the like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done yet so in the meantime if you guys and girls uh, want to get a funded account link in the description and also guys and girls if you need a, a regulated broker uh, i have a link in the description area blueberry market you can use that link to get 20 percent trade credit they are reliable they are um, regulated and very good uh, have a tight spread and good customer service so let's see on the gold what's happening with the gold okay this is the daily chart looks like that gold now pushing high okay okay let it push high so we might see um, a, a push to the upside now on the gold let me see on 15 minutes what's happening okay pushing high that's good um, let me see So if we have anything to trade on gold so there is a this is the 15 minute chart on gold this is gap opening let me see on the hourly okay so looks like yeah that that's that's creating a pattern now let me see on the four hour okay daily You know what i will do if in case on the daily gold creates a dodgy here like like this on narrow dodgy then i'll be you know i'll be selling gold that's what i like i like dodges to trade so leave gold now let's see gbp and zd uh, i'm waiting this one to be closed as a dodgy on the daily quickly going through all the pairs now and zd chf as expected the price now you know this is the daily 20 period moving average now going up so that's what I am expecting the price to go up, go to this uh, important area of value and then create a price action pattern on the four hour time frame. Um, then I will be selling NZDCHF from this zone. OK, so let's see what else we have. Um, Aussie NZD, OK, AUD NZD. Tomorrow there will be high impact news release. So AUD NZD could be a good pair to trade. Um, AUD JPY so against JPY everything bullish okay Euro JPY uh, if anyone asking anything about JPY most of the pair are bullish against JPY okay JPY is very weaker so good pair to trade now let's see GBP USD I haven't looked at it GBP USD specifically today so starting with uh, let's say first of all daily so GBP USD as 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 i explained in my weekly forex forecast looks like that uh, i think it will go for go up for a deeper retracement and gbp usd that's what i think maybe we'll come to this level this week and then we'll you know retreat back so with that being said let me see on the four hours so we might see let me draw the level so i think that gbp usd might come to this level okay this week so which which can be a good move to the upside but i'm not gonna buy it's a long-term bearish market that's what i always tell you see if i see a long-term bearish market what i'll wait for the price to go opposite direction of the trend like that and then i will wait for selling opportunity like this one here you see um like this one that's what you have to do uh, you have to wait patiently for the price to break opposite direction of the trend and then wait for a price action to sell okay so this is the situation with gbp usd currently 
Um, we are trading AUD and ZD, USD CNHS. Um, as soon as I will find tomorrow GBP and ZD or USD CAD, if I find opportunity, I will be trading. Okay. So and ask about the strength of currency. Does currency index show the strength over another USD in index? Uh, and uh, it's a good question. So let's say USD USD index basically will give you. Let's say euro dollar could be a good mirror of USD index. USD index basically will give you a strength of USD. But let's say USD is stronger going bullish. USD index is bullish. But if, if you see that, let's say GBP is very strong, that could be stronger than USD, right? So then against USD, GBP, USD could drop. But normally, as a rule of thumb, when you see that USD index is bullish, most USD pair is bullish. That's the rule of thumb. Not always, but in most cases, except some pairs such as USD CAD because CAD behave very, very differently than any other pairs. So that's why USD CAD normally you will find always behaving in a different way. The reason is CAD is related to oil. Okay, CAD is related to oil, oil price. So that's why uh, you will see that sometime every pair against USD is bearish, but USD CAD um, like different. Let's say Euro dollar is bearish. That means USD is strong, but USD CAD is also bearish. USD weaker against CAD. So that that could happen. Okay. So that's the thing. That's the main thing is that when you see dollar index is stronger. You can assume that Euro dollar, AUD USD, GBP USD could be bear, uh, bearish. Okay, if you see dollar index bullish, these pairs are bearish. And I think you guys and girls know the currency correlation with the gold and other. So when you see that gold is going up, you might see that dollar is going down. Okay, so it's an inversely related. That's what it is. Again, soon sir, please give us at least one signal per week free telegram. Uh, grandson in this live channel i always uh, try to help everybody how to um, you know uh, trade and everything giving all the analysis and that sh that should be enough for you to uh, to to you know understand to get uh, what you want but at the meantime if you want to customize signals then you can uh, go to my web channel because some people are paying for it right and uh, some exclusive things i have to keep reserved for them but at the same time i always give everything when i'm in a live stream the only thing is that sometime let's say early in asian session or maybe before london session there is a trade signal and i can't give you in live stream right because live stream is limited time all right and uh, in this limited time i can only give you what is at the moment but if you're in my beep channel if anyone they have access 24 hour anything coming up but i know that everybody may not have the ability to join that's why this live stream is okay um, if you have the ability definitely you can join there is a lot of value in it if you don't if you don't want not only ability maybe you you don't want to join i completely respect it um stay with the channel i'm trying to help as much as you can uh, thank you for you all the support you giving in this channel really really helpful everybody is smashing the like button everybody is subscribing that's really pushing the channel to the upside uh, i really appreciate that now let's see gregory talk so what do you have for gold sell or buy direction so at this point you see gold is pushing um gold gold is still bearish okay we need to see what's happening uh, this is still bearish normally i you know in the middle i will not be able to tell anything i normally price you know trade based on candle close price action i need to wait specific time for trading you see nzd chf just touch the daily 20 period moving average and we see that primarily a little bit of rejection but it's not all about we need to see further rejection 
so dollar yen you see dollar yen now uh, creating a bearish move okay so it's coming to the zone giving us an opportunity to buy if i find opportunity i will not miss it on dollar yen okay dollar yen very very uh, strongly bullish market like usd cad dolly yen all of them are very very good pairs to trade so let's say thank you sir for sharing um monica gbpsd please we discussed gbpsd i think you can check i will do again if i have time do you mind explaining how we funded how the funded account works so entertainment tv you can uh, go go to my description area click the link and then go to the website all the information are there so that will give you a funded trading account for trading you might need to give a very little charge monthly and you will share the profit something like that so you can use the, their partners so you can you can you click the link and then go to the website all information are there first you need to sign up by your email address and password and then you can uh, join that funded account um, which time frame is better for a small account sir um, time frame wise it depends on what wh how much time you can give if you have a little time to trade then four hour daily if you can give a lot of time you can jump onto hourly or 15 minutes also um, monica thank you monica so that that's we are i'm almost at the end of this session it was really great to have some time with you let me see uh, I think I have said most of the pairs what direction they are moving. Also, one important thing in, on Euro AUD as well. So, looks like that. Uh, let me see Euro CAD. So, looks like that CAD is. Let me see for our. Okay. okay, so looks like Euro Euro is getting a little bit of bullish. Uh, we need to see a little further what it might do okay and then um, I'll update you but for now it's still not sure which way it is go going as I told you at the starting of the session that when you see that the market is reversing just wait a little bit of patiently because when the market is reversing it creates a confusing price action okay it will go up and down and up and down so that's why uh, when the market is reversing just wait looks like that most pairs trying to reverse and when the most pairs trying to reverse we just need to be a little bit of patient okay join my live stream tomorrow at the same time uh, we'll, we'll have discuss a lot of trade tomorrow there will be some uh, good news release high impact tonight also there will be news release on gbp okay at 12 15 a.m sydney time after maybe um one hour or a little more uh, morning AUD news release and um, tomorrow night USD news release and in this news release we will trade this new scandal so make sure and also tomorrow night there will be high impact news release so tomorrow there is market will be very very volatile make sure you stick till the end tomorrow also and if you uh, all the pairs we discussed in this live stream if you missed anything go back to the uh, recording and then watch them how they are behaving so that's it that's it for today thank you for joining this live stream i really appreciate your support make sure you smash the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done yet so that you don't miss out live stream live trading everything and at the same time um, if you wanna join my vip channel go to the description area and can find my website address where you'll find all the information how to join and also if you want a reliable trusted broker you can use the link in the description area the blueberry market you can open an account using my link to get 20 percent trade credit and also if you want to have a funded account also there is a link in the description if you use that link they are partners my partners so you will get 30 percent discount on your first plan Thank you for joining. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Until then, bye.